Today is July 31st, 9.14 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm not a financial advisor. Please don't take this as actual advice. Um, and if those are wondering, Swarm Flying, why do you have boxes behind you? This, they are real. <laughs> um, My mom is redesigning the, a, a place, interior design stuff. I'm going to store it in my room for the time being. Um, <laughs> A lot of boxes here. So as you can see, we just hit the green Robin Hood Live. That's crazy. Um, basically, I'm doing recurring investments into Sheeb and Doge, uh, just to you know build up my wealth. I'm doing recurring investments of Sheeb and Doge weekly. So we got two dollar buy, two dollar buy, next today, next tomorrow. So that's what's happening. Um, they're just kind of existing right now. So average cost has gone down a little bit uh those average cost has gone down a little bit as well you know it can only get lower so i'm gonna buy more if it boosts and it boosts up you know what i mean so why, why not why not right but on to acorns we are on 797.5 and nine almost at 800 dude we got a seven dollar recurring investment coming in every wednesday roundups are on as you know i run an aggressive risk because i'm young so just everyone should not professional advice, but I suggest everyone should. Just regular core theme. I pay like three dollars a month fee, or whatever it is, for the acorns. And go to the home. Seven seven ninety. We're gonna view the potential here. Go buy thirty. I should have twenty k. Nineteen point seven k. Hopefully by that point, uh, I will have more. And by fifty three, I will have sixty five k. I want to put in more money, like $10, which actually boosts your potential by quite a bit if we uh, edit it. 10 bucks is up to 23k. So however that goes. I haven't really earned a lot more of the uh, rewards, but who knows? And Acorns love shaking. Acorns love shaking. But we're almost at 800 in this portfolio. And this, we're almost at 700. Uh, we have today, I just checked about five minutes ago. Um before I start recording and we were at up at $10 today. We're at 46 over here. So over an $11 change through both my accounts. I'm gonna go through my accounts. And then though, total gains 33 dividends. I just put in some money yesterday. I bought DraftKings and I bought JD because I am sold on DraftKings making money. There's no way it can't make money with sports betting getting more, more legal and legal. Like, like it's just, it just feels impossible. Like we entered it down, but now we're boosting up. It's like there's, there's just there's just no way. Like we hit 39 up here right on 37. There's there's simply no way. I bought it, I bought in at 41. So I bought in around right here. <laughs> June 17th. Right before maybe like June end of June 16th or whatever. Or June 17th. Doesn't matter. It's got a, it's got a, it's it's got a boom. It has to boom. It has to boom. I'm I'm completely sold on DraftKings booming and getting back to up here. Really, with it becoming legal, more and more legal as time goes on. There's just no way it doesn't in my head. Uh, Texas Road has up 13. SoFi the Select 500 ETF I think is up quite a bit. Yeah, I mean this is all the big ones. Pretty good. <laughs> Why go into, uh, what is it? <sighs> QQQ or whatever. You just do SoFi. Apple's up big. SoFi's up big. The next 500 ETF is up. Baba's up. Waste Management. Uh, Canadian Pacific. DraftKings JD is, uh, Vici's finally in the big green. SoFi's up 272. And GME will always stay down, but we don't really care about that. So let's check Texas Roadhouse just... Get a feel for it. I mean, it's Texas Roadhouse in it. <laughs> it's, just, it's just Texas Roadhouse in it. I mean, from October, in my butt in around a decent time, around right before here. So, which I've gotten earlier, which I've known about earlier in 2023, but live and you learn. Uh, checking Apple, Apple did all those buybacks been long ago, and they've been only only up since really in the past year. I mean, I bought in around here, so not bad if I do say so. Not bad if you bought the dip right here. Hell yeah, go go on, brother. Uh, next hundred ETF 
We got a ton of shares, I believe, of this. We have four shares owned. We're up 378, so looking big, looking good. Robinhood's up there now. Rivian, it's getting all that look. It's getting all that looks. The win, I stayed there for my one year anniversary with my ex. And it was pretty good. Kind of ridiculously expensive for no reason. Stay anywhere else in Vegas. Um, Alibaba's back up. Waste management. I'm not going to look at the Chinese ones. It's just, I mean, we can, but waste management is up. Big dip. I mean, we hit a peak 223. So, and I bought it around 197. So, right there. Right there. I don't know what my first buy was, but I get dividends from all these things, which I love. Passive income. I mean, $5 in dividends is crazy cool. More than I've ever made. Ever. Passive income. Uh, yeah, so like I said, DraftKings has to make... It has to make money. It has to make money. Canadian Pacific, Railroad. I love a good Railroad. I'm all in Canadian Pacific. Just run it up. Uh, JD again. Negative. Vici. Vegas Properties. They're up. Big, a lot of Vegas properties, which a lot of properties are coming to Vegas, as I've been saying. And it has hit a big boom. I don't know from what happened to keep it up with Vici like at all. It just kind of happened overnight. So, and then SoFi. I bank with SoFi. As we know, we're on SoFi right now. So why not invest in my own bank? Because they do more, I like to think, than just banking. <laughs> Well, giveaways, a lot of suit takes, the credit cards are is fine. It's not the best one, but it's good. I have it. I just I just suggest getting a 52 week high. Really? I hit ten dollars. I see. So yeah, I would get into so far. I think it's big potential to hit around 15. And if it does, I'll be there. So with 10 things left on the buzzer beater. I'm going to click back into invest right here. And we're going to scroll through really quickly all my stuff that I have. And there's all this stuff. Options trading. Extend it out. It's so cool. Other one can use margin. Increase buying power. How neat. And transfer 10k. I don't have 10k. But everything's green right now. Everything is green. It couldn't go better. How could it get worse? I'm not in Union Pacific. I got out of the big companies. <laughs> Obviously for like. SCHG and VTI I got in because it's just easy for the Roth IRA to make money from. Just you know, I just put it put it in there and forget. The rest are just like volatile actual stocks. Two ETFs for stability sake. But you know. And here's my watch list. So I'm so glad I didn't get stuck in the Wendy's thing. I was in VOO. But like it's, yeah. I'm surprised Upstart has taken. The, uh, the jump that it has. I'm really surprised. I'm sure it's been upstarting upwards. I'm surprised, but. Because I use upstart for my loan. I have a loan through upstart, so. We'll see how that goes. And Rivian, of course, kind of going up. Sales for is. I get out of the big ones, the big, big, big ones. Like. Meta. Because, <laughs> like, what am I doing? Like, my biggest one here is Apple. Waste management. That's because I wanted to be there. And also, yeah. Apple because it's Apple. Who's not going to buy Apple? And waste management because who's not going to like... Like Trash will always exist. So why not put your money into something safe? Let's do it. I'm not a professional, by the way. I'm just saying stuff. So we'll see what happens. Bye, everybody.